find the equation from graph of the cubic function. So here we are given a cubic function and we need to write down equation of this transformed cubic function. So we'll take help of the general transformed equation which could be written as g of x is equals to a times f of the function k times x minus d plus c, right? So this is general transformation equation which, can, which we can use. Now here, as we see, it is a reflection here because normally the cubic function will be going from zero like this, right? So normal cubic function will have critical points here, here and here, right? So it is going in this way. So the function is kind of like this, going from quadrant 3 to quadrant 1. Now this one is reflected on the axis. So you could call it a reflection here on the vertical side. So we have minus here. So a value is definitely minus and minus by how much? So vertical stretch, the next point is one unit away. So vertical stretch is of 1 only. So therefore a is minus 1 for us. Now the function as such is a cubic function, so we'll write cube here. So the function is a cubic function, right? The k value is a horizontal stretch or compression. Since the next number is one unit away only, therefore k is also 1. About d and c, d is horizontal translation. So if you see, this function has been horizontally translated and it has moved one, two units to the left. So it is plus two here, right? And C is two units down. One, two, three units down. So it is minus three. Therefore, the function can be written as G of X equals to minus of X plus two Q minus three. So that gives us the transformed equation of this particular function. It's a good idea to test your points at this stage. So let's test them by writing x equals to minus 2. If I write x equals to minus 2 here, what do I get? Minus 2 plus 2 is 0, q will be 0. I get y value of minus 3. So minus 2 minus 3, that is correct. Now if I write x equals to minus 1, then what do I get for y? If I write minus 1 here, minus 1 plus 2 is 1 and 1 cube will be 1. Minus 1 minus 3 will give me y value of minus 4, which is correct also. Similarly, you can test for x equals to minus 3 and find y. Minus 3 plus 2 will be minus 1 and minus 1 cube will be minus 1 and minus of minus will be plus minus 3 plus 1 will be minus 2. So y equals to minus 2. So by this we can check all the three points and now we are sure that our equation is perfectly fine. I hope you understand the method of doing it, right? So it is, we are going for reflection and then we check horizontal translation and vertical translation. It is shifted two units to the left and three units down. That's how we get these points, 2 and 3. And there is no stretch or compression involved. There is, of course, a reflection. Since the graph is going from quadrant 2 to 1, which is taken care of by this minus sign here. So that is how you can write equation of a transform function from the graph. Thank you.